here in just a bit, six accounts, including us, are getting together and we are doing spring-inspired vignettes. Who isn't ready for spring? I'm going to tag everyone here and make sure that you head on over to their accounts to check their beautiful posts out. And mine actually is not only a spring vignette, but it's a DIY project too. So head to my stories to see how I made it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I took an ordinary, ugly bean pot and turned it into something a little more vintage. It is super easy. My advice would be to spray your pottery with a matte spray paint and that will help the next layer stick. I used a mineral fusion paint. I did have some areas that didn't um, wanna take the next layer very well, but I just smatted it on and it stayed. So I made a paste using spackling and baking soda. The more baking soda you add, the more texture you'll get. And then I added some water to make a really thick paste. So I applied two coats of the paste and then I used 150 grit sandpaper afterwards to sand it down just a bit. And then I took three different colors of coordinating craft paint and went ahead and just kind of shadowed it in where I thought I wanted it to look aged. And then I decided to go ahead and put a Y stencil on there for our last name. I also had several questions on how I finished the frame. I did the exact same thing using paste and just going around the frame with a, with a paintbrush and getting into all the grooves. I went ahead and sanded it down a little bit and then I painted it black with black craft paint. Then I added the different layers of rub and buff. It was a super, super easy project. And again, I only paid five bucks for the frame. I would advise to use a matte spray paint on your slipper. <laughs> I would advise to use a matte spray paint on your slippery surfaces on your pottery.